Armed with my dimension drawing, I started to make the raised panels for the front of my fireplace surround. The design is based on the Tex-Mex style featuring pegged mortise and tenon joinery with floating raised panels. The timber used is reclaimed pine and Douglas fir, so there are a few defects in the timber here and there, as well as old nail holes. After dimensioning the timber, I cut the tenons on the stiles using a stop block mounted on my table saw slit. Then using a test piece to get the slot width set, I cut the panel grooves on the rails and the stiles. I didn't like the fact that the grooves left a void in the tenons, so I made all of the tenons on the stile a bit smaller to eliminate this. A quick test fit of the panels to make sure everything is going okay. I marked the rails where the tenons needed to go and quickly laid out the panels to make sure I had it marked right. I set the marking gauge off the tenons and marked where the mortises need to be cut on the rails. Right, so now I've got that marked. I can transfer that to the rail. I like the fact that this gives me a little groove. As if I was going to cut them with a chisel. I've got a little groove to rest the chisel in. I could have made a router jig to cut the mortises, but this would have taken almost as long as cutting them by hand. And sometimes I just like the chip, chip, chip of a sharp chisel and the lack of machine noise in the workshop. Sometimes I also like to test my own patience. This is the danger here, because that this little side bit splits off. I need to be very careful. That <coughs> that doesn't happen. Here's a time lapse of the next three mortises being cut. It's a compression of 40 minutes real time. Beautiful. Okay, four down and four to go. A short time later and it was all done and fitting nicely. Now to 
pit the panels. <laughs>